YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, my name's Ryan. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over a new and improved workflow from the Comfy team to generate audio using Ace Step. And then I'm going to show you how to separate the output audio into the component instruments that comprise the composition, if you will. With this, I imagine you can use the individual instruments down the line in your process, uh, maybe maybe convert them to MIDI or something like that. And I'm also gonna show you something you can do with them right here in Comfy UI. So without further ado, let's start at the beginning. Like I said, this will be very quick. So we, we load the model and then this is the new um, bit that they added here. You can mess with the, the values here. I have put in this simple prompt, lo-fi beat trip hop. I've neglected to add any lyrics because I have found invariably that with any model, the vocals are cringe. 100% of the time, the vocals are cringe. So I just leave them out, you know? Maybe we'll leave that for, for human beings for the time being. We'll see what happens uh, with the future. Okay. And here I've got a fixed seed. You can mess, mess with the step. And I put it at fixed here so I can mess with other knobs and see what happens um let's go ahead and run this so that maybe it'll be done by the time i finish yapping it so we decode the audio out of the latent space and then we add knob here or a, a touch up knob like effect and you'll hear it when you when you compare these pieces of audio back to back you'll hear the knob ever so subtle but worth it just just for your previewing ease of your your previewing pleasure um, in Comfy UI. Anyways, we take our output audio here and we send it to our audio separator. We've selected our model to separate the instruments and we get our, the component parts here, drums, vocals, bass, and other, other being everything but the drums, vocals, and bass. And then you can do with these what you will. Perhaps you can save them to your computer with a save audio node and use them later um or if you want to do something cool right in comfy ui you can use them for audio reactivity here we're simply extracting a feature from the amplitude envelope of the drums we've got this quick shape mask uh left the batch size this will automatically increase it but we we take our feature from the amplitude envelope and use that to dilate this mask and this is what you get so we're controlling a mask here but you can do any uh any mask you can do videos images other audio all sorts of cool stuff you can directly control um ai models using using audio additionally i just want to mention that you can Let's pick a float here. You can uh, control any of these parameters. They're all schedulable here. So uh, it's just off the charts granularity that this gives you. Anyways, this has been an extremely brief audio manipulation tutorial 2025 8 a.m. 519 edition uh, with, with yours truly. Uh, I've, I'm still Ryan. Subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.